You drink coffee every morning, sometimes just to survive the day. But have you ever wondered what caffeine actually does to your body? Let's break it down short, sharp, and energizing, just like your espresso. What is caffeine? Caffeine is a natural stimulant. It's found in coffee beans, tea leaves, cacao, and over 60 other plants. Chemically speaking, it's an alkaloid, more specifically, a methylxanthin. It's the world's most widely consumed psychoactive substance, and yes, it's legal. Most people consume it without even thinking. But the molecule behind your morning routine? It's a sneaky little trickster with a big impact. How caffeine affects the brain. Here's where it gets interesting. Caffeine works by blocking adenosine, a chemical in your brain that tells your body it's tired. Normally, adenosine builds up throughout the day, making you sleepy. But caffeine mimics adenosine and takes its place in the receptors. Result? Your brain doesn't get the time to rest message. But that's not all. Caffeine also increases dopamine levels, the feel-good neurotransmitter. It's the same one affected by other stimulants, though to a much lesser degree. And you get a mild boost of adrenaline, which makes you more alert, reactive, and focused. Effects on the body, pros and cons. Let's talk benefits first. Increased alertness, better focus, improved physical performance, faster reaction time, even potential protection against Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. But it's not all good news. Caffeine has side effects too. Trouble sleeping, anxiety, increased heart rate and blood pressure, irritability, and yes, withdrawal symptoms if you stop suddenly. Everyone reacts differently to caffeine. Some people can drink a triple espresso and nap right after. Others get the jitters from green tea. How much is too much? According to health authorities, up to 400 milligrams of caffeine per day is considered safe for most adults. That's roughly four cups of brewed coffee or two strong energy drinks. But it all depends on your sensitivity, metabolism, and habits. Teenagers, pregnant people, and those with heart issues should be especially cautious. Is caffeine addictive? Not in the hard drug sense, but yes, caffeine is habit forming. It causes physical dependence. If you quit cold turkey, you might experience headaches, fatigue, low mood, difficulty concentrating. These withdrawal symptoms typically last a few days to a week. After that, your body resets. Should you worry about caffeine? Caffeine isn't evil, it's a tool. Use it wisely, and it can boost your performance, focus, and even long-term health. Overdo it, and you'll get sleep problems, anxiety, and dependence. The key is moderation and mindfulness. If you notice caffeine isn't working for you anymore, maybe take a short break. Your brain will thank you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment. How much coffee do you drink a day, and could you ever give it up?